Hello everyone, this is King Kong LT Lessons. This is lesson 12. We will look at how to use the door sensor. And also we will have go through the six step, uh, the sensor type and the pin define and the extended the distance and the diagram and the set the logical command and have a demonstration on the PC software. At the first, uh, this is a door sensor. This is a wider solution door sensor. Because this door sensor is the easiest and this is the most uh, used in the home automation systems sensor. And this sensor type is drag contact. Uh, this is uh, easy, just the three line. It's not uh, work with the power supply. You not need to connect the power supply, just it like the switch, like the pin define, we can see this has three points, uh, just uh, like a switch is calm and normal close and normal open. So just like a switch, you can see this have three line. Uh, the green uh, is the calm, and uh, the black and the brown is normal open and normal close. So this is signal uh, output from this door sensor. Uh, these two parts, uh, this have a magnetic parts inside. So this you can detect uh, for open and for close, just open and close. So this is a pin define, it's just a three line. I think you will understand easily uh, just for this sensor output. And this extends the distance. Uh, so because this door sensor is very short, this line is very short. So you need to use this line connect with our logic control. Uh, this is for digital input. And now you need to extend the distance uh, for line for very long. So the extent distance, because we have designed this container for max support one kilometer, we have designed the long distance circuit inside of it. Only the digital input uh, you can use uh, for so, so long distance. And the analog and the temperature sensor for this box will not uh, so much long, because this is a digital input. And also we can see this is a diagram. Uh, this diagram we can use this command. We use this box CLPS, and uh, uh, you can see this is Ethernet and Ethernet and the Wi-Fi and the Wi-Fi. You can choose each of one communication uh, work work mode. And this is really output. Uh, this is orange. It really output. And uh, this is a digital input. Uh, this first blue row is digital input and this is analog input and we can use this sensor connect with the digital input one like this this is one two three four until digital 16 and this black is uh, ground uh, we have connect with this green and uh, you can see uh, this is three line of the sensor this three line we have connect with this input and the calm this green is connected with the ground, and this is normal close. Normal close is, a, uh, is this one, and the normal open is this one. Is the brown, normal open, we have connected with digital input one. So this can detect the door is open or is closed. And if you want to uh, detect the door sensor for open and close at the same time, uh, you can use this normal close and connect with this line for the digital input tool. So this will cost two channels of the digital input. Uh, it's up to you. Connect with this one line or this two line. You can use normal open and normal close uh, for two digital input uh, at the same time. It's just for on and off, on and off. And uh, this is the diagram. It's, it's also very easy. And this is the fifth uh, set of logical command. Because after we have wind the sensor for the controller. We need to set uh, the logical command on the PC software so that let the door sensor and the relay have a relationship uh, for automatic country. So this is two options, option A and option B. We just uh, usually use the open the door and the close the door, the two situations for the door sensor. And open the door, we just set the command on the PC software. That means the level become up and the close the door, that means the level become down. So it detects the signal of the, of the sensor. This is level become from low to high. And this is become high to low. So that is detected uh, with this uh, 
this time the, the point. And if we open the door, uh, you can set the then command. You can do a command list. Uh, this, this is for relay. Relay on and off or talking. It's up to you. Also, this is also can set the relay is on, the relay is off, or the relay is talking, or have some delay time for delay second uh, for one minute. Uh, just up to you. If you open the door and the light is on, and after some uh, one second, the light will be off automatically. So this is use this one command and this one command. Uh, make two if TDD command logical uh, command on your PC software is okay. So this is the two situation usually used. Now we'll have the sixth step. We'll have a demonstration on your PC software. I will tell you how to configure this for open and for close the door as a command. Okay, let's look at the serial BS and connect with the door sensor. You can see this is digital one input and this is the ground. So I have used this. This is common. Common have connect with the ground and this is wrong. Have connect with the digital input one. And this have eight relay inside. Now I will test with the relay 1. The relay 1 LED indicate is in this, so you can see this LED later. And now we can open the web browser, and you can learn in the IP address and the part. And also we can see this diagram. Uh, you can see this is digital 1, 2, 3, 4. I have connected with this digital 1 and the black, black 1. And this is the serial BS software, and we can see this is IP address and the part. And uh, after input, and we click the connect, and we can check the auto report on, so that all information will detect by this all input points. And you can see this is sensor door sensor. I have put this part. If I remove this part, uh, you can see this become green. So this is detect the door is open, and I can put uh, this parts on the button. This uh, LED ind indicate is changed, so I can open and close and open and close. This can detect the monitor. And now we can make the FDD command. If I let open the door and the relay one is on, so I just click this FDD command and the uh, number one command I can edit and the if ddd command if command I can choose the di if the di means digital input and the digital one input and this uh, engine p that means the, the level become high and hold on I can click the other point one so that will be quickly changed and edit to if and now we can click then I just let relay one is output and the action is open and add to then because I have used the relay inside uh, for the 8 channel if you want uh, think the 8 channel is enough for you to use you just use this IS232 point uh, connect with your external relay board and the jump you need to change uh, another position just for change the inside of relay to use and external relay to use uh, for this jump and now you can apply uh, just like this apply and also can use the monitor you can see uh, the LD1 now I can open the door uh, you can see the LD indicate is on now the relay is on but I close the door uh, there is nothing changed so we can add FDD command uh, for close the door and close the relay one so I can click the FDD command and make the number two command and edit and also is digital one input but now I change this ngn just the level is become down and also is 0 0.1 hold down this time uh, this second and edit to add and click then the relay now is closed uh, so I need to close so I add it add to then and apply and now we can test again if I can open the door uh, the relay one is on because it already is on 
and I can close the door. Uh, you can see the light is turned off uh, immediately. So I can open the door and close the door, and open the door and close the door. So it's very quickly and quick responsible for the sensor for digital input. So you can connect with many digital input sensors for this automatic function. Uh, this is just an example for the turn on and turn off the one. Okay, this is how to use by the door sensor. Okay, now I think you can use the door sensor for your home automation uh, for some project. And in next video, I will show you some other interesting sensor for, for how to use. Okay, thanks for watching.